When the accident happened, we were packed up to go on vacation. He uh, wanted to go out dancing that night, and they told him he was tired, he shouldn't go. We were supposed to leave the next morning to a big family wedding, but instead, the surf was knocking on our door that night. I was seven, and I remember a big police officer come into our bedroom, and he put our little house coats on us and told us that our brother had had an accident, and he put us in his patrol car, which was kind of odd for a bunch of little country kids. You know, we weren't used to policemen, and he took us to meet Mom and Dad, and then we went to the hospital, and we sat there in our little house coat. You know, we didn't know what was really going on, but we were there as a family, you know, even little. He fell asleep, and that's when he had his accident. He, um, he less than a mile from home. Yeah. He was almost home. I saw my brother laying out in the field, and the only thing I can remember him saying is he looked up at Daddy and he said, Daddy, I'm broken all over. He had drove his car off the right side of the road and he was over correcting and went over to the left side and hit some plowed dirt. As soon as the car hit the dirt, well, it turned over. And it, it, he was laying outside of the car and threw him out. Accident happened when I was 18, well, 10 days away from being 19 years old. I was coming home late at night, been out with some friends, been drinking a little beer, and fell asleep at the wheel and crashed my car. And basically, I crashed into my neighbor's garden, so that's not like I laid out there for a long period of time because he heard somebody laying in his driveway in his garden. and. He wakes up, he knows who it is, so he calls my dad, and they call 911. 